Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here. Today we're going to talk about buying mainly police vehicles, but basically anything off of a police or municipal auction site. Now we're looking at government deals first. And that's one that I believe is nationwide. And uh, obviously I'm not going to have a complete list of every place you can find stuff, but like this is the Texas one, and if you do the auctions, Texas does it through Lone Star Auctions, and uh, you know sometimes you can find some good stuff on there if you look through there. Uh, I haven't bought anything off of LSO Auctions yet, though. And then turning back to Texas, if you want to buy a like Texas DPS vehicle, they actually sell those rather than auction them. So you click there. And it'll bring up a list of all the vehicles and my understanding is you actually go down and check these out in person and see which one you like but they keep a list here with the prices and also my understanding is they are not negotiable at all on the price so that is the price that you will pay for those vehicles so sometimes you might find a good deal sometimes you might not but they do have the storefront there and their hours and you can go check out see what they have and hopefully you find something that you like there but again this isn't meant to be an exhaustive list of all the possible places that you can buy online from it's just meant to show you how to do it so my favorite is Renee Bates this is where I've bought all of my police vehicles and uh, Renee Bates does quite a bit through the south mainly in Texas and Florida but some other states as well so like a lot of these you have to sign up first and Renee Bates requires a hundred dollar deposit so you want to get that in pretty quickly so that you can start bidding so just fill out their application there and follow all their directions whatever other site you're on it's going to probably be very similar Renee Bates has a great search engine, but you can also just click by city or whatever you want to do, and they kind of give you a little list there, but then when you want to find the specifics, scroll down, find what you're looking for. So typically what I do is kind of look at these auctions periodically, see what they've got. If something catches my eye, then I'll click on it, look at it a little more detailed. Like for example, here's a Crown Vic going for real cheap however it has been sitting so then some of them will give you a good selection of photos and then a lot of times you'll only get two or three photos so it, it makes it a little tougher to decide you know you, you kinda look f see if the lines of the car are looking like there's been a wreck or anything you know, look, you know like the interior see if like this one's got a bunch of stuff ripped out looks like it has a spotlight still although they'll probably rip that out before they actually sell it and I'll talk a bit more about my tips for bidding on online auctions in another video I've got several of these videos planned for you this one's just kind of an introduction to it to uh, see what's out there obviously in your state you'll need to find out what auctions are close to you so I actually got lucky these vehicles are parked right outside my office so I was staring at them every day and I finally went over and took a look at them and so our county tends to drive these Crown Vicks I think way too long before they sell them so most of these are well over 150,000 miles and not in the greatest shape as you can see uh, and I can't remember but I, I did post the sales prices I thought they all went a little bit high for what you were getting especially considering there's probably gonna be quite a bit of work involved with them so I didn't bid on any of them but just showing you what was out there so like this one went for 1200 and again it, it's pretty rough not one that I would wanna take on for starting price at 1200 necessarily but this was a rare opportunity for me to actually go out and look at vehicles that were 
at an online auction as opposed to just seeing you know one or two pictures that were shown and uh, unfortunately the county sold this to Chip and Joanna so these cars won't be out here anymore in the future here's just one more and it sold for 1550 it looks like probably not a lot of rhyme or reason why one sold for a couple hundred more than the other I never really saw anybody looking at these like I said basically eight hours a day I'm staring out the window at these and I never really saw anybody checking them out so that one still had the police interceptor sticker on it like all the others had a big hole in the trunk just really kind of rough a lot of work to fix them up this one I did bid on really caught my eye it's expedition thought the mileage was fairly low uh, 141,000 I don't know what happened there it looks almost like something burned or something anyway I took a bunch of the paint off there and a couple other spots you'll see but they came out they started it up for me and it started right up you know obviously I didn't get to drive it but no reason to think that it wouldn't have run well uh, you know the, the guy was real honest with what it needed and so I thought it was worth bidding on, although ultimately I didn't get it. Uh, it's one of those things, once the bid got up there, kind of above the trade-in level, I started thinking, eh, I don't know if I want to risk it just in case it needs anything else. But then after I didn't get it, then I started kind of kicking myself, thinking I could have got this and probably fixed it up and sold it or maybe even made it my daily driver. I think it was like an undercover vehicle, so it was in pretty good shape and pretty clean. Didn't look like it had any prisoner transports done in it or anything. And then this Tahoe was there, and it was really rough. I was surprised that the bidding went as high as it was. And I can't remember now, but I don't think this was a police Tahoe. I think this was maybe a seized Tahoe or something. So you see some of the paint was in pretty good shape as far as the reflectiveness. And then some of it was totally missing. It also started right up. He came out and showed me that. And we checked it out pretty thoroughly. But I didn't opt to bid on it. Because I thought the mileage was kind of high. And uh, like I said the price. It was I thought too high to start with. When, when I was looking at it. I guess the Tahoe's are pretty popular right now. To, to bid on. And then here's another Crown Vic, and it also went 1500 What I've noticed with a lot of their Crown Vics in the past, anyway, it seems like one buyer buys the bulk of them, probably a car dealer, and they'll come out, I'll watch them load them up on a big trailer. And you see this one, the wheel needs to be painted, the tires look bald. Like I said, they, the county tends to drive these too long before auctioning them, in, in my opinion. A lot of cities will cut them loose 50,000 miles sooner. And, and I think they're much better buy at 100,000 miles than they are at 150 plus. Especially when they're rough like this with holes in them and everything. Lots of minor body damage, but still stuff that have to be dealt with. And then I didn't see what the final bid was on this truck, but it was popular as I recall. Not too often that you see a F-250 with the V-10 and basically I think it was four brand new tires on it. So yeah, there was a lot of bids going for that one. And uh, I didn't bid on it. I probably should have. Another one that I probably could have flipped pretty easily. And, you know, it wouldn't have taken much cleaning up or fixing up and just turn around and sell it. 
And then they had some Impalas, and the guy was honest with me. He said that not to bid on them, <laughs> that they were in pretty bad shape. You know, cosmetically, they looked really good, and I was tempted to ignore his advice and bid on them. But since he's the main guy that works on them, I figure he probably knew something. So I opted not to bid on them. Like I said, they, they were beautiful vehicles. Anyway, this is the first video in a series. Hope it was helpful. Appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And please tell your friends about my channel. Thank you very much.